Hello everybody, the name is Bear Squid, and the game today is Stalker Call of Pripyat. Now some of you may know what this game is. Good for you. Go pat yourself on the fucking back, you bitch. And some of you may not. Most of you probably don't. Uh, basically what it is, it's a little game made by a little developer in the Ukraine called GSC Game World. You have no idea who the fuck they are. That's okay, I don't expect you to. I am going to guide you through this game. And it's gloriousness. Basically what it is, it's a mix between a survival horror game, with elements of an RPG, loot whoring, and just slav shit awesomeness. So, without further ado, let's get fucking crack a lacking. Master difficulty for us, bitch. At 0123, on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and the consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a new June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy with survivors telling stories of mutated animals. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, Others, in the government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center. And welcome back. I know that the uh, cutscene and the cutscene's subtitles uh, didn't really match up very well, but you know that's part of the draw of the game. It's quirky, it's a little stupid, broken, but it's fucking awesome. That's why we have mods. And I do have a few installed, but we'll go over that later. Anyway, welcome to the zone. This is the area that was quarantined off after the second Chernobyl outburst in 2006. Uh, as you could have gathered, our name is Major Degterev of the USS Special Forces. Not a ship or anything like that. We're in the fucking, you know, army. Hello, stalker. Privet. Anyway, 
Our mission is to go find the crash helicopters, which we will do after we find... Sorry. After we find out what else we gotta do. Uh, let's see. Where's the nearest stalker camp around here? Ah, Skadovsk. Listen, I have a question for you. Do you know anything about any crashed helicopters? Uh, I saw one myself, it didn't look like it crashed, but it wasn't flying good either. It was swinging from side to side until it landed on a plateau in the south of Zaytov. It'd be interesting to see whether anyone survived. If we only knew a way to get up there. Actually, I heard Noah from the Psycho Barge might know. Okay. Well, that'll be that for now. Uh, but yeah. Like I said before, this is kind of like a survival horror mixed with elements of RPG and just uber slob shit awesomeness. As you can see, my nice little AKMS and... What is this? Browning High Power. Oh, lovely Browning. A stalker suit. Anyway, so yes. Uh, there might have been spoilers for the previous game, which we might go back and play. Oh. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, I need a bandage. My armor's already almost fucking broken. Isn't that just lovely? Luckily we're going to Skadovsk. But yeah, uh, there might have been some spoilers for the first game, Shadow of Chernobyl, in there. Uh, we might go back and play that game later. Other than that, maybe, maybe not. It's a lot of fun. I just like this game more. Because it just seems more well-rounded. I know I'm gonna get fire for the fucking Stalker fanboys, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, earlier I had mentioned I had some mods installed. Uh, very basic mods. I'm pretty much going very vanilla here. Very vanilla game. Uh, I don't have Misery, because fuck Misery. It's stupid, unrealistic, and I just don't like it. It doesn't look that good. It's just kind of lazy, in my opinion. Guns don't break down that easily. It's not that hard to get shit. Uh, fucking... We're in the zone. Everybody has guns. Everybody has ammo. It's not a fucking... It's not a full-fledged survival horror game. Yeah, it's kind of fucking stupid that you would treat it like that. Oh shit. I don't like that sound. Uh -oh. Yeah, oh, um, all the fucking voices in here are in Russian, so don't expect translation. That's Skadovsk right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go here, reach some shelter, talk to some people about some work, maybe. Uh, but yeah, the mods I have installed are the Arsenal Overhaul, which... That's all it does, is it just adds more weapons, it upgrades the um, vanilla ballistics, makes it a little bit more realistic, and it adds atmosphere, which is a weather and lighting overhaul, which we may get to see a little bit later. Ah, motherfucker, I always forget. So, this is Skadovsk. This is kind of like Stalker home base in Zeton. Uh, the game map is split up into sections. This is all, you know, Zayton and everything. This is the first game area. It's pretty fucking big. So, I mean, we're gonna get around. We're gonna, we're gonna get some places. And then we will go into Jupiter, which is the second level, which that'll be later. Gotta go talk to this guy. Anyway, let's talk to uh, Beard here. Uh, you know, here. You're new here. Fuck. That's right, you settle in soon enough. You know the zone is a tough teacher. I am Beard, the local bartender. Got any questions? You come to me, you hear? Got any jobs for me? Got a little something. Last night Stalker saw some kind of weird glow at the Dread Station. Too weird even for these parts. Why don't you check it out? Yeah, sure, sounds fine. Let's see, do you have anything I want? Nah. 
These guys were flagging me over. What do you want? Со всеми вопросами вали к бригадному. Okay, he wants to talk to me. Remember, I'm Sultan. Everything that goes down here is either under my control or will be soon. If you want to live the good life, you gotta work for me. If you don't, you'll live the shitty life. That's how we roll, bro. Oh, fuck you, dude. Uh, what kind of job can you offer me? The money-making kind. Now think, why am I asking you? You're the new guy with no connections to speak of, but if you play your cards right, you could quickly gain the locals' respect. Wanna know what I'm thinking? Yeah, sure. Ugh, alright then, listen up. You got a mind to shake down a few beard stalkers. Uh, I like beard, he's got a beard. It's a real cinch. Late at night, you and our guys come up to Shevchenko. And uh, before these tourists figure out what's going down, you take them for a ride. We get the dough, you get the props. Catch him adrift. Alrighty then, see Knuckles standing over there. He'll give you all the details. See you, guy. These guys are bandits. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to get involved with them. I think I might go tell Beard what's going on. Hey, yo, Beard. Sultan's crew is planning on raiding Shevchenko tonight. Uh, dude offered me to raid with them. Uh, take their offer and I'll tell my boys to set up a welcoming party for our guests. Alright. See ya, buddy. Uh, before I go do that, I'm gonna go up here and talk to somebody that might be able to repair some of my stuff. How are you doing, Cardan? Let's see, you wanna repair my armor for me? 798 ruble. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, how much is this? 350? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, sort of, I'll install some armor plating. Everything else is pretty decent. And then we can go talk to, uh, a senior owl. Need goods, information, or maybe you want to sell information. Nah, I just want to see what the fuck you got. Oh! Oh! Such 9130. I want that nugget. It's good. It's very good. Um... I'm good on ammo for now. I'm not going to really use the high power, but who knows, I might. We'll come back later. Oh, free medical supplies. I don't care what you have to say to me right now. Let's go talk to uh, this fucking bandit fuck over here. See, well he's not a bandit, he's a mercenary. But let's go ahead. Go to Shevchenko and fuck some shit up. Alright. The mission has recently occurred in the zone. I gotta eat something. Now let's see. Let's, uh... Let's save. Before... Cause... I don't like bandits! Fuck. I know you can't really see very well right now, but that's kind of the point. Okay, maybe just to see where I'm going. Fuck you, dude. Let's see, I saw some muzzle flash over here. Where's he at? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Uh, these, the glitches you deal with in this game. Save. Ah, fuck. Fuck! Ow! 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 Medkit. Bandage. No. Uh oh. No, he's my friend. Okay, I s there's a guy over here. But yeah, this is pretty fucking intense gunfights and shit. There. Alright, fuck yeah. 
Now we go around and take all their shit. That's the fun part. Yes, I want all of your shit. Парни, all of it. What the fuck do you want from me? Завалили урона. За помощь, спасибо. All right. Got our reward for finishing it. Now let's go take some shit. Where's he at? There he is. Yes, I want your food, I want your grenades, and your ammo, and all your med kits. Oh, wait. Fuck. Where's your gun at, bro? Did you not only have the pistol? I'm sorry. Let's go fuck this guy over here up. Take all his sh- Oh, he had a Glock. Извиняй, конечно, но слушай, оно все уже без пользы. Uh, where's the guy back here? What you doing, old dude? You got a shoddy? And some anti-rads. And more food. And the vodka! The vodka! Alright. I know I'm not doing a very good job explaining this, but, you know, it's... It is what it is. It's... A fun as shit game. Yeah, I can't really explain it more than that. You just gotta go experience it. I highly recommend it to anybody that, uh... Likes this kind of thing. Ooh, detector. More vodka. Alright. So... Instead of venturing out at the night, I think we're going to go over here and make camp for the night in Shevchenko. It's safe, relatively here. Oh, such HD. Much frames on fire. So yeah. I don't think there's any beds around here that I can sleep on. I can't sleep on this one. And I think there was another one over here. Yeah, I can't sleep on this one either, because this old dude's sleeping. But, uh, let's just imagine that we're camping out overnight. You watched my video? Thank you. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like or a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Those sexy bitches. Bye.